So I started the business right in front of his eyes and the business done 100K in less than I think like six months. He's like, bro, I want to start a business and I'm, I want to make 100K in less than six months. But bro, like it looks to people that that took six months, but I know that took, that was on the back of 10 years of experience, L's, learnings, lessons, courses, etc. Does that make sense? So I think people have a very narrow mindset and unfortunately it's the way we talk about success. You know, a lot of the gurus these days, what do they say? I was able to build a million dollar store in 60 days and I'm going to show you how to do the same. What does it mean? It's lying. He's lying though. He was able to do that maybe, but what he's not explaining to you is he has five to 10 years of lessons of sort of being able to warp a certain mindset, being able to perform, etc. that allowed him to get there, right? And even if he gives you the A to Z blueprint, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to do the exact same. You're still going to have to fail, flop, struggle, etc. Does that make sense? Now, it's not me saying don't get a mentor because Yanni, you have to, but it's like, understand that all because it happened for him that quick, doesn't mean it's going to happen for you. You can't try to achieve the same like i'll give you an example and this is how i broke it down one of my guys by the way may allah bless him he's actually my social media manager very young lamberic he's 16 right and i'm not gonna refer to him as a kid or child like yeah he's young but lamberic his head is screwed and i ask allah to grant him tawfiq and to bless him in everything he does the guy that manages our whole social media operations bro it's managed by i think a 16 and a 17 year old which is absolutely not subhanallah right but when you look at it and you put it under a magnifying glass right it's like a lot of the times i see them they have that like hasty mindset and a lot of the guys that work with us we see it. They have this mindset of, I want to become this, or I want to build this, or bro, I want to start making some sort of online money. I want location freedom. And you know what I told him? I goes, actually, I want you to look at it like a race. Now, I come from a sprinting background, right? But I'm, I'm talking more long, a marathon, right? Because life is a marathon. Success is a marathon. It's not a sprint, which is the truth. We all established that. We know that, right? Look, at the start of a marathon, you see these guys that all around just bold. They put in the whole energy in the beginning, and they're just trying to get to the finish line as quick as possible. What do you know about them? They crash. But for the guy who's just doing it slowly it's so tempting for him to what to try to catch up to the speed right he feels like he's falling behind he feels like he's not doing things right these guys are so ahead of me what he doesn't know is after a short distance he's gonna surpass them they're gonna burn out very very quickly and he's gonna be able to what surpass them and he'll be in front does that make sense let me explain something to you and this is how i want you to look at life yeah even if i'm in front for 75 percent of a race but you beat me in the end is there any points for me what do we judge a race by first second and third it doesn't matter if i control the race for the first 75 percent if i was in front for the first three quarters of the race what matters is what at the finish line who crossed the finish line first and when you look at life like that bro it really shifts your mindset look and that's why i always tell you what, what's the statement i always say even before i drop it myself after 10 years we know who really was yeah. about it I always say in 10 years, we'll see who was really about it, man. Because we see people sprinting right now. Them guys chasing quick success. Them guys trying to sell things quickly. Them guys trying to push their courses quickly. But they're not building anything. What do I always say? In 10 years, we're going to see who was really about it, man. Does that make sense? You know, it reminds me even because for anyone that's been watching the podcast knows that you used to teach business right there was actually a program you were about to launch then you refunded everyone it was zero to 100k where you gave the laws and we've gotten tastes of it it's like whoa this is everything there is to business but it's like nah certain they just there's certain things that people need first do you know what I mean? but you're seeing other guys that six figures they've made is revenue that's like very marginal and they're already trying to teach business courses okay everyone is too hasty that's the problem and i can't i'm not saying they're not responsible i'm saying i can understand where it comes from see society to Today, bro it makes you feel like if you're not in a high-rise apartment in dubai from the 32nd floor you're doing things wrong right if you're not driving a merc or driving a porsche around you're doing things wrong like you're lacking you see these guys online that say i'm 16 years old and i've been able to it's like it causes you and this is what i'm telling people they need they need to control the externals right do you need to be able to block out the noise if you want to become successful because it's very difficult if you're being told the whole time i'm 16 and i've been able to achieve this and you're constantly your mind is constantly listening to that it's going to make you very hasty for success right from our company perspective and how many times have we had to let go of somebody just because he wants to rush and like he wants a position in the company he's not he does he's undeserving of and that's the reality bro it kind of makes you laugh bro because you see formally for someone to even expect a 100k salary right he thought yeah i'm gonna be working for at least 20 30 years of my life in one company just to get there but we see society today are too entitled and why where has that entitlement come from it's come from social media and this is honestly why if i could give you guys advice advice as well just from from my journey just lock in and you have to learn to ignore the noise man i'm telling you people used to laugh at me in my journey they used to make fun of me the noise is loud the noise is so loud bro it's so loud and it's hard i'm not saying it's easy you know 
That's why one of the things we, we teach in mind control, one of the principles in terms of conditioning is what? It's controlling your externals. Because if you can't control your externals, you might think, why are you talking about controlling your externals when mind control is mind, which is internal? You can't have internal control if you don't first gain control over your externals. What's my delil for this? The Prophet says, yeah, Such a powerful hadith. He says, A man is what? A Upon the religion of his friends. Also, what's another word for deen? Deen is a religion and also what? The way of life, right? The, the way you live. So let's look at it. It says a man is upon the way of life of the person he's around. Meaning your mentality, everything in your mind, up to the way you live is affected by the people you surround yourself with, right? So he should look and he should be careful who he takes as a what? As a friend. Does that make sense? That hadith taught me the importance of external now that's not just even friendships but following certain people on social media and this is one of the things like if you guys look at it if i'm just a check here i follow 29 people on social media now you might think like bro that, you're so arrogant you only follow 29 people i'm sure you have hundreds of people you know and thousands of friends and etc blah, blah blah yeah but you see the follow button isn't just a follow button it's i give you permission to condition my mind Oof. yeah can you say that again yeah, so when you click follow, I don't want you to just think I'm following a person. Like, it's just a follow. It's I'm giving you permission and the ability to control and affect my mind. Because naturally, what do we understand? Everything you see and hear affects your mind. Ibn al-Qaim, rahimahullah, and Ibn Taymiyyah, they stress how much what? Rahimahullah. How much the eyes and the ears are the window to the what? to the heart does that make sense and that heart and the mind we know there's a relationship islamically they, it talks about the mind and the heart is what they're linked does that make sense they have hearts which they don't understand by it's the hearts and the mind that they're very linked right so if you aren't able to what control your externals if you're not able to control what you see and what you hear you're negatively affecting your mind and your even if it's a real i always tell you this bro a 15 second isn't just a 15 second rule it, it's it can affect your heart injection strength. 100% One thing A statement he makes It might be like Yeah I just scrolled past it But it went inside It's registered in your mind And perhaps in one way Shape or form That thought That rule The words that guy said Is going to affect you later Which is why One of the biggest advices Like I mentioned I could give young people If I had to start this journey again I'd put so much emphasis In what I see And so much care Sorry In what I see And what I hear I'd put so much care into it Not allowing myself To be in the wrong circles Of people who just Preach self-doubt Lack of confidence Etc Right Does that make sense 